Hi. Hi there. Hey, how you doing? Good. It's so nice to see you. Sorry, you is too. this okay for me to not have my... Oh, it's fine. Actually, I'll take mine off. It's, it's, uh, it's okay. fine by me. <laughs> Everyone who's vaccinated. Yeah. You know Carol, like of course. So. Yeah. Oh my goodness! It's a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> surprise. Oh. Happy anniversary. Oh, I read. <laughs> You're gonna make me get a little weepy here. Good. Let's see. Oh, this is your official government <laughs> business. <laughs> Oh, you're so sweet. Oh, this is really nice. We have a contribution. I'm going to skip through some of it because it's, your accomplishments are so many. Wow. Thank you. But, um, yes, we're going to be honoring you actually on the evening of the 13th, September 13th. Okay. Uh, for your 40 years of service. Wow. But uh, I wanted to be here today to present it because we're actually going to proclaim September 8th, 2021, Reverend Robert Moore Day in wow. Princeton. Wow. Nice. <laughs> Whoa. Thank you. Oh, wow, isn't this sweet? So, um, I was explaining to Irene, this is not the official copy. The okay. official copy will come after that meeting. All right. But um, it's coming. It's coming. Ooh, it sure <laughs> And shall I read a little bit? Please. Great. So, whereas Reverend Moore, shortly after joining the Coalition for Peace Action, organized and sent a chartered peace train with 1,400 supporters to the June 12, 1982 New York City demonstration in support of nuclear weapons freeze with one million attendees, the largest demonstration in U.S. history, and whereas Reverend Moore chaired the effort to promote a nuclear weapons freeze statewide referendum in New Jersey, which resulted in yes votes from two-thirds of New Jersey voters in November 1982. And jumping down a little bit. Good. <laughs> Jump down as much as you want. <laughs> Whereas Reverend Moore co-founded and remains in leadership of two national multi-faith efforts, National Religious Campaign Against Torture and Interfaith Network on Drone Warfare. And Whereas the Coalition for Peace Action pioneered innovative organizing campaign tools now used across the country, including peace voter signature ads, published in newspapers in targeted races, and over five million newspapers to date, and nonpartisan candidate briefings given by CFPA experts and organizational leaders to major party candidates before primaries and general elections, elections over 100 briefings conducted today. And Whereas the coalition established chapters in Southern PA in 2004 with ongoing staff to oversee the grassroots work in that SUNY area. Now, therefore, be it resolved that Princeton Council wishes to commend Reverend Moore for his visionary leadership and long term service to the Coalition for Peace Action, the Princeton community, the nation, and the world. And be it further resolved that Princeton Council declares September 8, 2021 be Reverend Robert Moore Day in Princeton.